Thomas Alva Edison. His inventing career spanned some 70 years. He produced almost 1,100 patented inventions. Became a testament to our possibility. This is the 35th annual Thomas Alva Edison Patent Awards, presented by the Research and Development Council of New Jersey. My name is Jesse Sabatini. I'm a chemist with the U.S. Army. I'm Jay Perret. I'm a physical scientist at U.S. Army Audac. My name is Russell Broad. I am a general engineer uh, at Pickett's in the Arsenal. The invention involves the development of a new way to generate a green light. Traditional pyrotechnic compositions are composed of heavy metal materials and then chlorinated organics. These are environmentally toxic and can release byproducts that are very dangerous. The new system that we've developed at Picatinny involves the use of a material called boron carbide. Boron carbide has traditionally never been used as a pyrotechnic in the past, but it's very unusual. It's actually hard, refractory, used in tank armor. But we found a way to make it emit green light. One of the other things that the patent does, one of its inherent advantages, is as Jay says, you're removing all of the toxic materials from the current formulations, the current, what is known as the prior art. The prior art uses barium nitrate, barium being the heavy metal, as well as polyvinyl chloride. That is a polymer material which when it combusts forms polychlorinated biphenyls or many other uh, polychlorinated uh, organic pollutants. So our new formulation, the boron carbide formulation, does not contain heavy metals, does not contain chlorine at all, so you're sidestepping those potential environmental, environmental as well as uh, carcinogenic issues. There's not too many things in nature that give a green, what we call mission, green flame. Um, Barium is one of them, and that's why it's always been used in pyrotechnics. Uh, boron is another. Um, copper salt, copper salt, certain copper salts, you have the right flame temperature, it'll give you green as well. So what's out there that will give a green flame is rather limited. We started with boron, straight boron powder, different oxidizers, tried different formulations. We didn't get the performance required. Jay and Jesse said, well, why don't we try bor boron, car boron carbide, which to me, it seems counterintuitive. Anybody knows about boron carbide, it's, it's really a grit. It's used as an abrasive, has a very high melting point. We, we tried it. We, both Che and Jesse really did the, he the, the heavy lifting in terms of formulation. They did some modeling simulation to figure out what things should go together with the boron carbide to give the needed effect. And we wound up with a success. Well, it's a great honor because it shows that other people have looked at your work and said, hey, this is really interesting. This is making a contribution. And, you know, Thomas Edison was a major inventor. He had lots of inventions. He was a businessman, an entrepreneur. So to be given an award, an Edison award, is a big thing.